Hi, it's Father Jeremiah of Grace Anglican Church, and I'm on location today. I am attending a men's conference called the Perseus Conference that is being held at St. Francis Anglican in Spartanburg, South Carolina by Father James of Barely Protestant. Lots of great speakers have been here thus far and lots of great speakers coming up, and I just wanted to give a quick overview, quick update on things that are happening here at this conference. It's been a phenomenal conference dealing with masculinity, dealing with what it means to be a Christian man and how to walk as a Christian man in this world. Last night, our first talk was from Father Calvin Robinson, who can be quite the firebrand, but nonetheless, he still um, spoke deeply important truths. Even if you couldn't quite be on board with every single thing that he said, you could still agree with the general perspective that masculinity and Christian manhood is important. Standing up for the truth, following what God has called us to do as men is of deep importance, recognizing that Adam was the first weak man who fell. He did not follow what God had told him to do, which was to protect the garden, to defend his wife. And instead, he let the serpent deceive his wife instead of confronting the serpent. We are to be the opposite of that and follow in Christ's path who confronts the serpent, who stands firm in the truth. And we are called to follow Christ in that regard. And that's a wonderful discussion, a wonderful truth, a wonderful talk to hear and to be encouraged by and to be directed toward following Christ, following the path he has called us to and doing the things that he desires us to do. As well as that, we had a talk this morning from Dr. Stephen Boyce of the Facts Channel. You can find facts here on YouTube, F-A-C-T-S. He's a wonderful scholar. He walks through various things, looking at the church fathers, understanding doctrine, understanding truth in scripture and how it applies to us and helping it to make sense for us. And so I highly recommend his channel, Dr. Stephen Boyce of Facts, F-A-C-T-S. He spoke about masculinity in academia by looking at the example of St. Paul at the Areopagus, how he confronted pagans who foundationally could not agree with Christianity, could not agree with that worldview. But nonetheless, he bridges the gaps between himself and them intellectually by pointing out the unknown God altar, the altar to an unknown God, connecting it to their own poets by being culturally aware, understanding their culture inside and out, and being able to use that understanding of their culture to guide them to Scripture, to find places where there is overlap, where there is truth, because as every one of the speakers thus far, of the three that we've been able to hear here at the conference, have pointed out all truth is God's truth. So, St. Paul could lay hold of truth that was found in the pagan scriptures and discuss them with these pagans and begin to draw them to faith by bridging that gap and then calling them to repentance by causing them to acknowledge that a true God cannot be contained, confined to metal, to wood. And because of that, there is a God who created all things. And that God is one who sent a man into this world to die for our sins, who was raised from the dead, and thus in being raised from the dead, he is the judge of all. He will come back to judge all men, and we are called to repentance. St. Paul connects those dots. He connects everything that is good in their culture over to Christianity, taking that which is good, those nuggets of goodness, connecting their own religiosity of the unknown God that they were willing to worship, and pointing out who is this unknown God, who is this one that they are desiring to worship without fully understanding what it is. And so he connects those dots. Lastly, this morning, we heard another talk from the Reverend Matt Kennedy. You might know him. He's on Facebook, on Twitter. He also writes, has written, and continues to write for a webpage called Stand Firm in the Faith. He also has a podcast that he hosts with Nick Lannon as well as J.D. Koch called Stand Firm. He gave a talk today, which was listed as Masculinity and the Culture War. Um, he had prepared a lot for masculinity and the duty to defend the church. And the beautiful part is how those segue together, how they connect together, that you can't enter into the culture war. You can't enter into this idea of fighting against the things happening in our culture seeking to bring about a more Christian culture until you are defending the church. And the only way you can defend the church with the truth is if you yourself are immersed in the truth. Beautiful talk, wonderful words, encouraging us to be men who confess our sins, who are so deeply enmeshed in our prayer lives that we are quick to confess where we have sinned, that we are enmeshed in the law of God, letting that law convict us, letting that law break us down, letting that law deconstruct us instead of us trying to deconstruct it. We get deconstructed by God's law and rebuilt by His Holy Spirit 
through our confession, through our reception of grace and salvation and the absolution that God brings to us through Jesus Christ. And in that, we are enmeshed and built up in the truth and can then defend the church. And in defending the church, we are protecting the church so that it can help us raise our families so that we can keep our families in the faith more easily through the church. And as the church is being defended and built up, thus we can begin to affect cultural change as the church becomes more able to touch the culture, more able to convict the culture, more able to work within the culture and against the wickedness that exists in culture. So Matt Kennedy, Father Matt, did a phenomenal job. I thought that was like a foundational talk for this whole conference of our need for confession as men, our need of the truth and the law of God to convict us, to renew us, and to rebuild us. And so it's not necessarily an Anglican conference per se, but it's mostly Anglicans here and mostly Anglican speaking, a lot of Anglican speaking at this conference, which makes it a great conference for me as an Anglican priest. And I hope that this is helpful for, for you and that you'll discover these truths. You can go to perseusconference.com and there is an option to purchase a live stream viewing of everything for about $40. So you can get to watch all these wonderful talks after the fact because not every not everyone can always make it here and so I encourage you if you're curious about masculinity and Christianity and walking in the Christian life as a man and how that affects what it means to be masculine I highly recommend checking it out and finding out more through that so I hope that this has been helpful and we'll see you again soon I'll give some more reviews of other talks as I'm able and so may the blessings of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen.